I want to tell you about me and two hookers in an elevator and how there's a very important survival lesson in it all. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer. And here's a story that's going to keep you out of trouble and keep you from getting robbed and maybe the living daylights beaten out of you. So many, many moons ago, I was in Las Vegas because every year, some college buddies and I, we go to Las Vegas to watch March Madness. And the place to be back in the day, it's called the Westgate now. I'm trying to think what it used to be, the Hilton, because it's changed ownership multiple times. But anyway, that was the place to go watch all the college basketball games. Had a great theater. You'd go in there, you get these $2 hot dogs. I don't drink, but I'm sure the beers were cheap. Uh, but it was a wonderful place, a big crowd. And these three other buddies of mine, we meet every year in Las Vegas and watch college basketball games. So one year I get there, I go to my elevator, or go to the elevator, and by the way, the Westgate, it's not like that now, and it really wasn't as dumpy as I'm making it sound to be, but there pretty much always be hookers waiting in the elevator, and they would, you know, pitch you, you wanna have a good time, and I'd say no thanks, and I'd get on my elevator and go. Well, one time I just checked into the hotel, I had put my stuff away, and I was going to meet my buddies to start watching some of the games. And as I exit my room, I see these two women exit a room very close to me, and all of us end up on the elevator together. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but it doesn't take me very long to figure out what these women do for a living. And so they look at me and without pretty much missing a beat, say, hey, you're looking for a good time. You know, we saw you come out of that room. You want to go back there with us? And I say, oh, no, thank you. Uh, you know, not, not interested, right? And to me, for religious reasons, for STD reasons, I would never in a million years do that. But I realized not everybody has a moral compass. What, you know, how am I going to say? People can do whatever they want in this life. I would not recommend it. Uh, so so I told these two women, uh, no, thank you. And we were going down in the elevator. And of course, curiosity uh, got the better of me. And I was like, so just out of curiosity, like, what do you charge? What do you charge, guys? And woman's exact words were, I would charge $500 and anything goes. And I just stood there and shook my head like somebody just told me the car wash costs $10. You know, I didn't say anything. And they got off the elevator and went their way. I got off the elevator and went my way. Now. Here's the important lesson. As I just mentioned, one of the reasons, besides religious reasons, not to get a hooker is clearly STD is the gift that keeps on giving. But also it is obviously a safety and security reason. If you go to that room, how do you know five guys aren't gonna jump out and beat the living daylights out of you? Especially if you're overseas. You go overseas and perhaps you get butt naked, ready to have the time of what you think is gonna be the time of your life. And then a bunch of guys jump out and kidnap you. Or if you're lucky, they're just gonna beat the crap out of you and take your wallet. So pretty much, nothing good can come out of it, which you already know. With that being said, if you have a lack of judgment, an extreme lack of judgment, that's why you know self-defense skills. That's why you know hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because what if the time you get attacked is when you've got nothing, is when you're naked? Now, it shouldn't be. You're going to be with a hooker. That's not good. But maybe you've just gotten out of the shower in your home and you have a home invasion. Maybe you've just gotten out of the shower you're getting dressed or something. And again, you hear the front door getting kicked in. It doesn't always get kicked in in the middle of the night at 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. It might be 3 p.m. it might be whenever. That's why you've got to know hand-to-hand -hand stuff. And that's why we've got good old Bob here. If you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of the rat technique. If you want to see the rat fight book, get it below. To me, that's a no-brainer. You should know how to do it. But you don't have to remember 97 different ninja skills. You don't have to spend 12 years trying to get a black belt in karate or whatever martial art. So when it comes to hand-to-hand self-defense, what do we want to do? Well, we want to attack the vulnerable areas of the person's body, and we want to attack them fast. That is why punches to the throat are so effective. That is why I've trained many people, including women who have stopped attackers twice their size, courtesy of a punch to the throat. That's why the eyes. Now the eyes are obviously not gonna kill a person, but when you poke the eyes like that, they're gonna grab their eyes and have an involuntary reaction. So then you can punch to the throat. Or then you can do a straight blast, come out, and get them going and rock you backwards. And then you can give them a kick in the groin, you can knee them, you can do whatever you want to do. So throat, eyes, groin. Of course, I love headbutts. Remember, when we're headbutting, we're going right in the center of our head. We're not headbutting with our forehead because we'll knock ourselves out. We are headbutting in the center, boom, pulling that guy's nose right in to the center of my head. And of course, we can add a good knee to bring them down. So remember those very simple self-defense moves I just showed you in case you ever find yourself naked when somebody tries to attack you, which unless it's a home invasion and you're getting out of the shower, I can't think of any other ways unless the one we just described, but you better not find yourself in that position. If you wanna learn more, make sure, as I said, click on the link below. I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. I hope you stay safe in this crazy and unpredictable world that we live in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that re-notification and check out my other videos.